I'm gonna start off by parting my hair in five large sections. And my parts are kinda gonna be uh, slanted in the direction that I want the braids to go. And once I get done parting a section, I tie it away with the scrunchie. Now that I've got my hair section off, I'm going to go ahead and prep my hair for my braids. I'm going to use a few clamps to make sure that the section that's next to the section I'm going to be braiding first is all the hair is out of the way and doesn't get caught up in my braid as I'm moving along. So here I'm going to just do a little bit of detangling to make sure that all the knots are out of my hair. I'm going to use some Murray's Edge Wax to put along my parts. This is going to add some hold and shine and it's going to make it a little bit easier to grab the roots of my hair as I'm braiding. So now I'm going to use this rat tail comb just to smooth everything out and make it look clean and neat. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So starting as close to my hairline as possible, I'm going to start braiding. And I'm just making sure that I keep my fingers as close to my scalp as possible. This is going to make this is going to make my braids uh tight and it's going to eliminate any lumps at the root. So when working with large sections of hair technique is very important. If you would pay attention to my right hand, before I go under with my right hand, I grab the next piece of hair and I push it up. This helps me um, grasp my roots a lot easier and it is key to the neatness of your braids. Now I'm going to follow those same steps on the next four sections. To eliminate any frizziness, I'm going to be using this alcohol-free mousse made by Lotta Body. And I'm going to apply a very generous amount of this on my hair. 
After I've applied the mousse, I'm going to wrap my hair up with this satin scarf and sit under the dryer for 20 minutes. Now that the mousse is dry, I'm going to remove my satin scarf. I'm going to use the scrunchie to put my hair in a ponytail. Then I'm just going to wrap my hair around the base of the ponytail into a small bun and then secure it with a hairpin. Since I want the illusion of feed-in braids, I'm going to take this pack of crochet box braids. I'm going to take my latch hook. I'm going to put it through the loop of the braid. Then I'm going to take the latch hook and put it under my cornrow just really close to the bun as possible. I'm going to grab the end of the box braid, put it through the loop, and then pull it through. And I'm just going to follow this same process around my bun until I've used the entire pack of crochet braids. So what I want to do is make a bun. So I'm going to take these hairpins to secure everything in place. I'm going to grab those braids and I'm just going to keep wrapping them around, around each other until I form a bun. So here I'm making sure all of my ends are tucked and once they are you want to take your last bit of hairpins and put them um, on the outer edge of your bun just to make sure those ends don't come up. As you can see the style is coming together quite nicely. You really can't tell that I did not use any braiding hair. I like this technique because it takes tension off of my edges and I don't have to worry about the hassle of trying to add hair in as I'm braiding. This style was very quick and easy. It probably took about 45 minutes. That is including the time I set under the dryer. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and leave any comments that you may have. I'll see you guys on the next video.